bottom line, if you don't like mushrooms on pizza, we were probably never friends to begin with. Labyrinth of Toho, episode 12. Welcome back. The last time we got acquainted with some brand new wifeys to join the team, and I also took the time to kind of rearrange the party a bit. We're bringing along our new pals to do some playing in a new area. Uh, we've got them all geared up and leveled up properly. Um, something I did forget to mention last time about Parsi is that she's actually completely immune to debuffs out of the box. That's not even with any of the equipment she currently has on. It's just she straight up cannot be debuffed because you need around 120 or so to completely have a 100% chance to resist um, a status, and uh, she's naturally at just 131, so she can never be hit with debuff. That's that's pretty cool. But uh, we also did some powering up the magic library. I bought a whole bunch of Miko boards because that gives everybody a few extra TP to play around with in the dungeon to hopefully make our trips a little longer. And I've also only got 21 money left. So, that was a good time. Hooray! Capitalism! So, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna head on back to third floor center. We're gonna head on up to the fourth floor! See what we've got going on in here. The solid coral reefs that shine... sapphic? Uh, again, apologies. Uh, I don't have any voice acting here again today. I didn't want to bother my dear Poncho Smith um, with episodes that I'm kind of just doing on the cuff. These aren't being done in a batch. They're kind of just being done uh, as I get to them. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be inconsistent. It'll be a fun thing when it happens, though, right? You guys enjoy that kind of thing. Uh, sorry about that. That was a, a dumb thing that I did on my computer there because I wasn't sure I was recording, and I would have been real dumb. But, anyway, uh, welcome to the second stratum. As you can tell, and as these characters are musing about, we are underwater. Sa okay, shine sapphire. Why did I think sapphire? Cool. So the relay point is right here, near the beginning, as I am always wont to do. I gotta feel in my circle, dog. I can't, I can't help it. Um, I think this one's kind of just like a big four-way path, though, or something. Ultra fast granite keystone. Wasn't that a, a gorilla song? Like ultra fast, but never less. I smell like glass. I don't know. That was a terrible album. Plastic Beach sucks. Uh, yeah, so we've got an ultra-fast granite keystone. Just place it, and it will emit a special field that totally draws out the potential of anything and makes it much more awesome and stuff. I like that. I like that. It involves so much breakthrough technology that everything about it is a mystery. And it's all stats plus 12, accuracy and evasion plus 8, and all resistances plus 12. That is a nice little piece of gear that will throw on... I guess we'll throw that on. Um, you're already good too. Uh, not you. You can use that. We're gonna have her in, on the front line quite a bit. We're gonna get into our first fight on the new floor, and finally, it's not like dumb trees and bugs and stuff. Uh, so she's going to do some really, really good damage to everything. Uh, as is Minoriko. Um, there's a lot of nature uh, weakness on this floor, if I remember right. Which, I mean, I guess if everything's cold or, uh, you know, wet, I guess like the natural, maybe a natural weakness would be grassy things. I don't know. So that's that. So yeah, it looks like we've got our little square here in the middle, and we're just going to take the left path because it's the sinister path. Look at all this mess! Look at all these guys. Coral gems, shadow cat, and blue shade. This looks like a lot of fun. Um, yo, just give them some Echo of Nine Forest Gods and see what they think about it. I don't think any of them like that at all. I'll just punch things and 
Save that magic point. All of that magic points. That's how you properly grammar, uh, by the way. In case you weren't aware. Let's head down over this way, maybe. What do we got here? I see what appears to be a locked chest and a dead end there. Assuming this path is going to kind of do a bit of the same. So we've got a magic bird's chest, or magic bird crest. Magic bird chest would be ret. Uh, but Magic Bird Crest, that's that's a material for crafting, I'm pretty sure. They're not going to give you four pieces of equipment. Uh, punch it! Look at that. Solid. Solid. I'll let you concentrate. And drop a quick magic missile on everybody. Uh, nothing too terrible as we make our way around. Um... Expected things to be. I expected things to ramp up a little more than they have. Uh, I, but it's been a while since I played this game. I don't have any treasure chest keys. That's a bummer. I need treasure chest keys. Uh, give it a punch. Oh wow, yeah, this thing's uh, pretty eye resistant. Do this and. Give this one a short life expectancy. Okay, we didn't get a death effect or anything. See, like, she takes ridiculous damage. Kamachi just ate a pretty big hit there, but she's got the HP for it. Um, whereas that would probably do much less to everybody else, because Kamachi's defense, like, she's literally paper. You you could you could tear her in half with 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 just by, by just breathing on her. So, this floor, we're going to run into the first of quite a few gates that are sealed by switches. Um, and these, I believe there's only one switch on this floor, if I'm remembering properly. It's a pretty, like, this is a pretty simple and straightforward floor, um, if memory serves properly. And, um... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't get too much more complicated, but there are some um, uh, 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 stratums or, and floors later that are really going to take some work for me to figure out how I want to do them. Um, so we've obtained another material, strange mechanical parts. It's because we're going to build robots, I guess. I don't know. Just another crafting material that we will use to make things that probably don't sound like they would need that kind of equip, that kind of material at all. But when you're creating materials to make things for an RPG, you kind of just gotta throw everything at the wall and hope something sticks. So. Solid punch there. So let's to switch out here. Evil spirit soul. So let's pull in. Let's pull in our girl Yomu. She can do some work. And. I don't know. Natori. Can you do anything? Probably not, I'm gonna guess. Because this seems like a water based floor. Uh, and I, I don't really know like the weaknesses here. I've not looked this stuff up. I'm kind of just. Playing it all by ear the way that I did the first time I played the game, so. Let's go across, down. Looks like we're just filling in more. So, oh, look at all this fun. We've got an electric oarfish. <laughs> electric oarfish. That's a, that's a good name. Um, I don't know. What, what, how do they react to wind? Are you just going to totally... Oh, well, nice job, Yuma. Not bad at all, girl. Of course, that was basically, what, three-fourths of her magic points, I'm sure? Yeah, that's, that's everything she has, so... Fat load of good, that really did. Um, I'll just put Mimiji in, even though she would be the tank, be the character that I would put in the tank position, but... Wait, 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 nope. I see, I see some circles down there I missed, and I, my brain, it's not gonna let me do it. We gotta go back. Have a look over here. Yeah, I didn't think there would be anything there, but it's 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 circles. You gotta fill them all in. 
or you're just not playing the damn game right. We got a rabies bite. Boom. What do you got? Capital's illusory waterfall. Well, they're cats. They probably don't like the cold, right? That's four. Drop it. Let's see what we got. You missed. Good girl. But you got you got a strong team backing you up. We got some more Oni's panties. That's that's a good item to have in our inventory. But yeah, that's what I thought. We're just kind of filling out this little area down here. All right. All right, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better about this. All right. So, what we got up here? We got a treasure chest. I see a treasure chest. You're not going to let me get the treasure chest, are you? Are you, video game? Oh, you're blocking me off. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, take a bite out of that shade for me. Yeah, you can just still take out a kitty cat. Whew. Solid damage there. They are strong to physical, which I kind of expected. Just from how things were looking there for a while. Alright, so. That little area is all nice and filled in. We're just going to continue our little trek and see where it takes us. We got a chest up here, though. I will be happy to take. We got another Charging Tarja, or Charging Tarja, or I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we've, we've had those before. Yeah, this is just fire resistance plus 50, which that'll, yeah, all resistance is welcome. It's, it's not an easy thing to upgrade in, uh, in, in Patchouli's uh, shop, believe me. That's, that's not where you want to be spending your money. If you're trying to do that, Boy, you're gonna be grinding for a while. Uh, okay, I didn't think so, but couldn't hurt to try. <laughs> All right, some ghost tail. Is that what you say? You know, when you scored yourself a hot night with Yomu, you got you some hot ghost tail? Huh? Huh? How's them dirty Toho jokes work for you? You like those? I thought it was pretty good. I laughed, even if ironically. Um, let's see. It's only two magic points to see. Yeah, okay. We're kind of just blowing through everything on this floor with relative ease, uh, which I wasn't expecting. What have we got? Oh, we found some sort of tunnel. The end of the wall looks like we can go through to the other side. All right, so we got our. We found ourselves a shortcut. All right, so what I'm gonna do? Yo, controller, work with me here. All right. We are going to hop out. Oh yeah. Also, I got another achievement. I believe it was. Um, yeah, I got uh, achievement 67's customer to spend 2,000 money in a toy shop when I got. Uh, when I picked up uh, all of those Nico boards. So we're going to head back in. And we're going to kind of go fill out the right now. Because I think we're going to be heading up north. It's probably where everything's going to start going. So, but we're going to go ahead and start heading east. And it looks like we got some stairs over here. What else are we doing? I'm not sure this floor is symmetrical or anything. I'm just going to punch this guy into oblivion. No point in wasting any MP on him. Hard to melt ice. Or if you're playing the Zero Escape series, Ice 9. <laughs> well, we picked up a sub-equipment nitroglycerin, which, again, I'm pretty sure... We've got some nitroglycerin hanging around. Yeah, paralysis resistance. Which, if something coming up is what I think is coming up, that's probably going to come in handy. Uh, so, probably a good idea to keep that around. There's also an, uh, an achievement and stuff you can unlock for selling things to Notori, which I haven't done yet. Um, because most of the, everything they give you in this game, they kind of want you to use... Or it's usable uh, in some way. Um, 
Uh, it looks like we found ourselves an event spot. What do we got? What do we got? It's nothing! Alright, why the fuck did we come here? Marissa, she's picking up things again. Okay, I think she probably just picked up another piece of metal? I think that's what this is. I think this is kind of leading into the same side quest we've been uh, working for this whole time. Yeah, we've got uh, the third mysterious scrap of iron. We'll be doing something special with that. Something I'll be happy to be doing, because unlocks something pretty cool. Uh, let's see, uh, you give it some divine walls, get out of here, okay, fair enough, fair enough, you didn't die from that, you'll probably die from that, ooh, going after Mina Rico, that's not nice, Mina Rico is not the kind of girl that would hurt anybody, not that I know the Toho lore or anything, but she just seems like that kind of character that just generally wouldn't want to hurt a flea. Maybe Hina as well. Uh, she seems like a nice one. But uh, nobody likes Hina at all. She's kind of a garbage character. Alright, some more coral gems. Give it a, a nice terrifying punch in the face. And another hot magic missile. For good measure. Uh, quite a few down. So we're just picking up uh, some more uh, crafting materials. This gate is uh, locked as well. More than likely because there is a switch we have not hit yet. But we do have another event bubble here. And what do we got? What do we got? Yo, it's Aya again. What's she doing this time? She's collecting information. Are you still doing that? <laughs> Giving up. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, like, you might as well come with us. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Become too strong for them. Right. You're starting to put this together. If you come with a group, things might go a little better for you and your little expedition. Yo, say something. But doing so would mean giving up your newspaper. How would it mean giving up your newspaper? If you're with us, you're where all the shit is happening. Okay, so we have to have uh, bought 30 species of monsters. We are not close to that yet. And it might take us another couple of floors to do it. Okay, 25 or so. Just a bit more to here. Okay, so we fought 25. We need to see five more types of monsters, and we can come back here and recruit her. So we'll remember that. That's where that icon is at. And I see some circles that I made a big mistake in not feeling in. It makes me feel bad. One of the divine walls out there so we can get rid of this fight. Get rid of them all, Munariko. You savage, you. Getting another good start on getting some of our cash flow back. Like, I had 4,000, 5,000 or something, and oh, I came back for one fucking circle. I'm mad. I'm mad. Um, but yeah, I had like four or 5,000, somewhere close to that. I just blew it on getting everybody geared uh, to come in here. And uh, getting our new characters, uh, you know, some of their important stats raised in uh, Patchouli's library, of course. So, what are we filling in here? So we got, okay, we got three squares. We filled in like three big squares. Let me see. That to the left and right of the center, we've got two stairs, two sets of stairs that go down. Um, I can't remember if I actually saw portions where those would pop out on the third floor. 
uh, or not, because, hey, it's been about six months since I updated this LP, so, whatever, it's all good, I'm an asteroid though, punch things, oh, you did nothing, okay, uh, concentrate, yeah, she gets eight fucking magic points from charging, that's pretty good, Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish I would have kept up um, on uh, this little playthrough, though. But things have been busy, uh, and I've not been in much of a game-playing mood. Um, I've been working more on more creative endeavors, uh, actually making games. I've got, like, two active projects at the moment I'm working on. Another heater muffler. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, 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 blocks ice, but in the event that I'm wrong, we'll pretend that I was right. That's basically how it goes. Alright, she's got one magic point left now, so... I'm gonna go ahead and pull her out, and we'll drag Matori back in. I'll pull you out, and pull Mamiji in. That, that's a setup that seemed to work pretty well last time. Oh, you blocked me again. God damn it, video game. Playing with my feelings like this. But yeah, I've kind of just been really in a more creative space lately. And that creative space hasn't really been, I want to make videos. Uh, I did do a lot of speed running uh, while I was away, though. Um, Still don't have that sub-11 in Contra, which I'm kind of angry at myself about, because that's something I should be able to do. I'm just... Ugh, I'm just slacking on it, honestly. There's no two ways about it. I'm just putting it off, and... Some nights you just get in and don't want to do shit. So... But anyway. Kazu's defense? Let's see here. What is... Kazu's defense. I always go backwards because I think that they're, they're maybe, yeah, and I was right. It's higher rank, so it is. This blocks. Uh, the, this adds our resistance uh, to debuffing. Uh, plus fifty percent is a charm. Kazu's mother asks you to hand over to her son, guarding the watch house. A consumable that uses special radio waves to repel encounters, but given, but given when you get it, you'll hesitate when using it in many ways. Don't know what that's a reference to at all. So, uh, what are we gonna do here? I will continue up that right, uh, upper right side. But yeah, uh, a lot of cool things that I'm working on. Um, those will probably, more than likely, bear fruit sometime after the first of the new year. Um, well, hopefully, they, they're not. Like, one of them is really close. I've just gotta kind of get the drive to continue doing it. Um, and, and it kind of just like it requires a lot of focus really just and, and, and like it feels like I kind of have to be in a mood to work on that project because anytime that I do work on that project I end up working on it for like two or three weeks straight which has led to you know which is why it has these huge bursts in hey I'm, I'm really getting done here um, but uh, but that's uh, kind of not where I'm at at the moment uh, my headspace is in another project so we've kind of taken a pretty good look at this floor this looks like it might be like the halfway point if i continue up here to this little marker right here but i'm not going to do that right now i'm going to be a big old pansy and i'm going to head back to gensokyo and i'm going to end the episode here because i think that's a pretty good place to stop we made some pretty good headway here and uh with that we'll catch you next episode Hopefully, maybe a day or two after this one, if the drive stays. So, uh, catch you next time.